Marchion and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a beauty business coach and my YouTube channel BBB Beauty Business Builder is here to help you within the beauty, hair and aesthetic industry to be seen. Gone are the days when we can rely on time for exchange services. I teach and coach entrepreneurs like you to leverage their skills, find new alternative ways to generate a revenue and to become unstoppable and a celebrity in your field. So if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell, subscribe now and check out my other videos and I look forward to helping you and your beauty business. Bye for now. This is SJ Hart, Sean. This is BBB Beauty Business Builder, and I am a beauty business coach that has been in the beauty industry for over 21 years now. Um, I inspire and motivate beauty entrepreneurs to be unstoppable within their industry and their niche and their their job. I really do. Um, so today's podcast, if you're if it's your first time, I am stumbling over my words today. Oh, have a moment. Okay, so <laughs> if this is your first time listening, then I don't normally stumble over my words that much. Um, but you may want to, after this episode, go back to the beginning because there's a little bit of a journey that I take you on. Uh, there's so many fantastic tips, strategies, um, things that I live by and I implemented into my beauty business to help well, basically get me through financially in a, an amazing financial position in 2020, in the year when we was unable to touch our clients. Um, and that is what I teach and I coach other beauty entrepreneurs or people in the personal care industry. Um, if you're a keen listener, then thank you so much for staying so supportive. So this is, um, this is pretty much a request podcast. Now, the reason why I have done this podcast, this, um, this one is because I get asked this question so many times. I get it asked from my friends, my family, um, people that I coach, people that are following me on social media. This is messages that I get through daily. So I thought I would do a podcast about it. And the question that everybody asks is, how the hell or how the fuck, how can you stay so motivated and on target? How do you do it? So I want to kind of break down, you know, how I do it, uh, but also a little bit about me in this last 12 months, if you don't already know. So, you know, we have had a pretty shit 12 months, you know, everybody has been in, um, let's say the same storm, but a different boat. Um, you know, everyone's dealing with their own individual battles, whether it be financial, whether it be social, whether it be business or, um, whatever it may be. Um, now in this lockdown, I'm not saying this to add any sympathy at all. Um, but within this last 12 months, um, me too. I am in the personal care industry. So a lot of my money was relying on touching clients. It's not now. Um, and I still, ma I've managed to earn fantastic money in lockdown by reinventing myself, which is what I, what I'm teaching you guys to do. Um, but in the last 12 months, I have, um, moved clinics. I have separated from a 21 year long relationship. Um, I've uprooted my family, moved home, uh, moved clinic, moved house, separated, now filing for divorce, um, as well as COVID. So, you know, I have had a pretty, um, it, it, I won't, I won't say shit. I won't say shit at all. Um, but a pretty eventful year which could have easily led me down a, um, down a path of, um, feeling sorry for myself, feeling depressed, um, you know, lack of motivation, lack of inspiration, and really took me on a, it could have took me on quite a low journey. Um, but you know, I, I don't dwell on things. I look to the future. I'm a very good plan. Uh, I'm a very good goal setter. Um, and, I have, I have made 2020 the best it, it can be for me. So I want to kind of teach you. And like I said, I'm not saying that for any kind of sympathy. Um, just people that are watching you, people might be watching and listening and thinking, well, you might be able to do that, but do you, have you been homeschooling children? Um, have you gone through this? Have you gone through that? 
I have gone through a lot, you know, I'm having to homeschool two children. I've also had COVID myself and been in isolation. I've had my daughter's school um, put on, um, obviously we've had the lockdowns, but also the, you know, her year class got, um, her, her bubble, um, got closed down three times last year. So at the drop of a hat, pick your daughter up, homeschool, that's it, you're done. So, you know, I have had a fair share of, um, unexpected things that have been thrown my way. Um, and like I said, it's not for sympathy. I just want people who are listening to think, oh God, shit, yeah, she's had as, as much going through in her life as I have. So if she's managed to stay focused and motivated, then I can too. So I'm sharing that to, to kind of help and inspire you to be able to do the same. So what I do to stay motivated, what I do to, 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 to keep on track and to be so motivated with my life and my business. So... I'm going to take you through a few steps that I do. So mindset for me is very important. We all know our mind can be so powerful and we all know that we overthink things. We can we can be sucked into a lot of negativity um, and it can lead us down a real, a big rabbit hole of just feeling sorry for ourselves, being depressed and just end up doing fuck all basically because we're just not in the right mindset to do anything productive to do anything creative or to get any shit done so how I start my day is so important for me um I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a keen rollerblader I like to rollerblade obviously I can't do it every morning because I do have children but I like to do something for myself every morning so whether that be listen to some good music and have a nice coffee I often sit outside where it's really cold and fresh that really energizes me um I'm always sat inside with my hood up or my blanket on um, in the morning having a coffee with my chill out tunes on um, or I get my headphones on get a good podcast on and go out for a rollerblade okay and that is normally after I've got up washed my face brushed my teeth and got dressed that is the first thing I do okay I do this before I get on my phone and my social media okay and that is very important because Social media, let's face it, right now is a depressing pile of shit, okay? If you are just going to get on your Facebook feed, your Instagram feed, and you're going to get into scrolling, you're going to see so much negativity, you're going to see so much COVID news about God knows what lockdown we're in or God knows what statistics we're at, um, and we're going to straight away get in a negative headspace. So it's so important. The first thing you do is do something that inspires and motivates and energizes you. Okay. So that is what I do first in the morning. And that is how I start my day on the right foot. I start my day on a positive note, feeling inspired, feeling motivated and ready to kind of battle whatever shit is thrown my way. So that is the first thing. Okay. Now, I would probably say 90% of people that are listening to this, probably even 95% of people, the first thing they do, they open their eyes, they pick up their phone and they start looking at their notifications, looking at their inbox. Um, and it's dangerous. It really, really is. So when I get back from my blade or I've had my 10 minutes in the garden, chilling out or whatever, and I'm staying in the garden. If you're, if you're listening and you're, I'm in the UK. So it is, it's frigging freezing, you know, so it, don't think I'm sat there on a, you know, lovely little sun lounge in the sun. It's freezing. I'm there with a blanket, a hat on and a really hot coffee in my slipper socks, you know? Um, but I do like, I do like the fresh air. So anyway, so after that, I do then check my socials. Okay. Um, I don't get drawn into scrolling. I, 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 I have to try hard. Oh my goodness, I really do. Um, but I don't get drawn into scrolling. I pick up the messages that have maybe come through, respond to a few friends. Um, and that is all I do when it comes to social media. I don't get scrolling on friends posts, news, watching videos about, you know, like we've obviously had um, the big Meghan and Harry stories. Um, I, I read about it, but I don't get sucked into all the videos and all the debates. Um, same with COVID. I do not get sucked into any of that anymore. I just, I just, 
have a little read, go through, but mainly focus on the notifications for me and the messages and people that are messaging me. That's what I focus on. And then what I do, I then do spend 30 minutes on social media in the groups and on the platforms that I want to surround my people want to be surrounded by. So I will get in the beauty forums. Um, I will get on the Instagram page and start looking at people that are in a similar situation to me or people that are needing help with their business. Um, I engage. I accept. I I, I add them as friends. Um, I input a lot of my knowledge into these groups where I belong. Okay, so I spend my time in the groups, in the forums, on the social media pages that are relevant to me that can either help them or help me increase my following. And that's where I spend a lot of my time. So I would give myself a good 30, 45 minutes doing that, finding new followers that are, you know, that that, that will relate to me inputting and there's a lot of kind of like help with COVID beauty, uh, businesses, hair and beauty businesses, questions are always being posed. I help to uh, give them some information about how I can help their business. And that's where I spend my time. And with this, it's a real good feel good factor because I import a bit of help. You know, people are reaching out saying, how do I get seen on social media? I put in my little bit of a content and say, right, I would do this. Make sure you go live. Make sure you're consistent. Make sure you're staying away from vanilla posts. And then they engage back saying, oh, thank you. That is really, really insightful. Can I add you as a friend? And straight away, that is making me feel positive, making me feel good because I'm sharing my value and knowledge. So make sure you do that, you know, spend time on social media, but spend it in the groups and on the platforms that are either going to help you or help somebody else to reach out to you. So do that, but don't then get drawn into the scroll because we all know we will spend time in these groups We'll then end up coming off on a, going off on a tangent. Then before you know it, one hour has passed by and we're watching stupid fucking cat videos doing fucking random shit. So don't get drawn into that. Okay. Keep that motivational, inspirational conversations and networking going. You know, you've started the day right. You've had time for yourself. You've responded to all the messages and now you're, you're inputting value and knowledge and you're getting positive, good responses back. So this then has set you off for a really fantastic, productive day. So there are a few things that I do in the morning and that is only that, that, that is before, that's before 7 a.m. That's before 7 or 8 a.m. Um, so, and also, you know, what I do is I, yeah, I only surround myself. Um, I've had a re- I, I've recently had a, a massive clear out on my social media. Okay, um, if you're listening to this, um, you know, if one of these sign up watchers that like to watch me in the background but only input, you know, not very nice comments or um, only pull me up on my mistakes, then uh, you know, I might have already blocked you by now. I'm sorry. Um, well, I'm not sorry. No, sorry, not sorry. Um, what I have done is every person on my social media, whether that be WhatsApp, um, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, anybody that's on there that is pulling me down either emotionally or they're inputting negativity um I've removed them and blocked them simple I don't want to see it on my feed anymore and I know it's quite harsh um but there's a lot of people out there like this there's a lot of people that are so negative and they've got nothing nice to say whether it be about other people or whether it be about you and your business or just really sharing con- continually sharing depressing content okay and I can't be asked to see that I don't want to see that anymore that brings me down so with that gone gone if you are if you're still on my social media as friends then you know you made the cut well done um and I that's what I do now I only will surround myself with people that inspire me motivate me and I respect Okay, that is that's it now. Anybody else, you know, uh, you're gone from my life, unfortunately. Um, so all these silent watchers that watch in the distance, but then only input 
the negative, uh, you're out of there. Um, and it's very important to do this because we get drawn into it. We get drawn into um, this negativity and I, I, I ain't got time for that. I've got more things that I need to focus on than drawing into your negativity. So have a clear out. You know, if people are commenting or people are posting all the time and it's depressing, it's bringing you down, unfriend them, block them, remove them, move on. It, they don't affect your life. They only affect your life in a negative way. So be gone with them, okay? It's a harsh thing to do, but get them out of your life, okay? So yeah, and also another big thing that I have um, that I have started to do, and I do, COVID. So obviously, we are all sick of it. It is full of negativity, statistics conspiracy theories, you name it, it is all just rife online and it's depressing. We're all over it. We're all done with it. We all want the end. So I will only have one COVID conversation a day. To be honest, sometimes not even one. I work from home. I don't tend to see many people. Um, I only see my face when I'm frigging recording these podcasts. Um, you know, so I speak to family and things as well, but I will only have one COVID conversation today, a day. And my beliefs on COVID are very different to, uh, are, you know, will not be, um, appreciated by everybody. Um, and then you can, you end up getting, you end up getting into debates. And long debates and then back and forth and back and forth. And it's draining. It's absolutely draining. So, you know, I will only have one little conversation about COVID a day, whether that be with family or friends. And then that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not talking about it no more. I am not letting that consume my mind. I have my own life and my own business to focus on. I will not let COVID be a massive conversation topic day to day, not happening. So, you know, try and limit yourself to things like that. You know, don't get sucked in by having the same conversation with the same people, the same debates, the same conspiracy theories, whatever you want to talk about, get out of it. Because, you know, even if you're trying to push your point, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere. The government are doing what they want to do. You are not going to get anywhere by talking and posting and sharing and debating. It's not going to happen. So just have that one little conversation a day and put it to rest. Yeah. So that's what I've recently done. I've started doing that in this last five months. So if anybody else comes to me now, if I've had my, if I've had my conversation that day and anyone's like, okay, no, get into it. No, I'm okay. Not being rude, but I don't want to talk about it. Thank you very much. Let's talk about let's talk about something else. Um, so right, also good sleep. Now I'm a bit of a sucker for this because I was in a really good routine with my sleep, and I was making sure I was knocking out seven, eight hours. Um, but I've got some massive projects I'm working on at the moment. So, you know, I have lately this week been up at half five and then still on my laptop at 10 o'clock at night, which is really bad. Um, but a good sleep really does. It, you know, we all know a good sleep. We wake up the next day and we feel energized. So, you know, try and get into a good sleeping pattern. You know, obviously reduce your caffeine at night time. I've increased my coffee, ca- caffeine, coffee, caffeine to help me get through longer. Um, but yeah, good sleep is vital because then you will wake up more energized and then you'll be, then you'll be wanting to do that morning exercise or that morning routine that I've told you about. So having a good sleep is, is, is vital. Um, and the main thing, the main thing that nobody does in business is planning and goal setting. Okay. We all have big goals. We all have goals on where we want to be with our business and what we want to achieve. But do we put this into a plan? Do we break down them goals into manageable tasks, plan them out and put them in our diary? We don't. A lot of people don't. They're like, oh yeah, I want to create my own makeup line. And then we think, oh, fuck, that's a really big task. How do I do that? Break it down. Break it down into small, manageable chunks, then put them manageable chunks into the diary. That is exactly what I've done. And in lockdown, I've managed to create uh, create a successfully um, watched podcast. I've managed to create a fantastic online training uh, platform for beauty entrepreneurs. I am in the process of creating my own vegan, eco-friendly, sustainable uh, makeup line. And I've done this all in 
lockdown, I have been on it big time. And the only way I've done that is by planning. If you do struggle with planning and if you think, you know what, I really need help with setting up for success, getting the right mindset and set up for success, then please reach out because I do have, um, I have a good community on Facebook, BBB Tribe. Um, but I also have some mini programs which will give you some really snazzy tools that you can actually work with uh, through Google Sheets where you can work on your mindset, plan it, setting up for success, and you actually can put this into a system where it will actually then filter out and give you manageable bite-sized chunks working on your goals. And it is all about goal planning. Let's see, even this. I, I, I'm not a natural planner. I am not a natural planner at all, and I have to plan. So here is, and you actually, if you want, I'm showing a post it. If you're on a podcast, listen to on a podcast and you can't see, you'll have to see it on YouTube. This is actually what you do get part of my um, success, uh, mindset instead of success program. I've got my 20 years planned out. I have the 20 years of my life planned out and documented into mini, mini manageable uh, goal, my goals. And then what I do is my goals are then broken down into manageable chunks. These manageable chunks are then put into my diary as an appointment for me to then do, okay? And that is what the online tool that you get as part of the new program is there to do. Because we all have these goals, but we don't really plan them. So yeah, there are a few, um, a few of my main top tips. So let me just kind of go back and just kind of like reinforce that and refresh that. So the first one is the way you start the morning. Stay off your phone, stay off social media. The first thing you do in the morning needs to be for you, whether it's listening to music and having a nice coffee or whether it's going for a little walk or whether it's doing some exercising or going for a rollerblade. First thing in the morning, you wake up, brush your teeth, wash your face and do that thing for you, okay? Then you can get on your phone. And when you get on your phone, respond only to the messages that have come through and the notifications and stay away from scrolling. Don't get sucked into scrolling, okay? The third thing that helped motivates me is being part of groups that inspire and motivate me and platforms and groups that I belong in. So beauty groups, business groups, coaching groups, trading groups, being part of them groups and communities and help giving value to these communities and you will receive it back. And if you're giving value and you're giving knowledge to these people, you're then going to get so much positivity back, which is then going to lift your spirit and lift your mood to be able to have even more productive day. Okay. COVID conversations or news or press or the press that we're involved with at the moment. Limit yourself to just one conversation about that a day. You know, don't get sucked in and drawn in to debates, discussions, whether this be online or over the phone. Just limit yourself to one a day. Say your piece, move on because you will get drawn into it. Before you know it, hours have passed. You then come out of it feeling depressed and deflated. So limit your Limit your COVID conversations is the main thing. Um, and news and media, limit the amount. Good sleep, you know, try and make sure you're getting seven to eight hours sleep a night. You're reducing your coffee intake at night time so you can have a really good in-depth sleep. It's very important. So then you can wake up that next day feeling like you want to do that exercise or that rollerblade or whatever that may be, you'll wake up more energized. And the last thing, I don't know how many numbers I've done, I don't know how many it is, but the last thing is goal setting, but planning your goals. So don't just set your goals because sometimes the goals can be too big and quite daunting. Break them goals into manageable tasks and get them in your diary as an appointment. So then when that pops up in your diary, you then do that which is going to take you one little step closer to your big goal. Okay, so that was it. You know, the podcast today, like I said, was all about staying motivated. And I get asked this so much. And yes, we are in a, um, you know, a depressing world right now. We are. But we are also in a world right now where we have the time and we should be finding that energy to reinvent ourselves as a business. You know, we are in complete control of our destiny and our goals and what we want to do. Nobody else. So make sure if you eliminate the people around you that are bringing you down or eliminate them people around you that are 
being um, negative and depressed and, you know, just really crushing your spirits and making you feel crap, get them out of your life and focus on you and focus on your future, your goals and keep yourself motivated. And all these things that I've explained in this podcast will help you every day and once you implement these things what you will find is week by week you'll be looking back at the tasks that you've been wanting to do and you'll be smashing it and thinking oh my goodness I did have loads of time to do this because you are not getting drawn into the things that don't inspire you and it's all about surrounding yourself with people that inspire and motivate you so then you as a person can feel empowered and unstoppable Mm -mm -mm. so okay so thank you so much for listening to my podcast thank you if you've been watching on the youtube channel as well if you feel that somebody needs some of this you know if you feel somebody needs a little bit of my motivation um and you want to share this then please do you can share my youtube channel um you can share this youtube video um or you can share my podcast I also am going to ask for reviews. If you don't ask, you don't get. If you are enjoying these podcasts and you feel that they're really helping you, then please leave me a review in Apple. Um, reviews do mean a lot to me and obviously do help more people see my content. Um, you know, so that would be lovely. And same again on YouTube, you know, engage with me on YouTube, write a comment on the videos. I always respond to my comments. Um, and thank you so much for listening. But don't forget, guys. Stay motivated, stay positive and focus on you. Stay in your lane. Focus on you and what inspires and motivates you and surround yourself with people that inspire and motivate you and eliminate those people that don't and bring you down. You don't need them in your life. They don't affect you or your business. They don't pay your bills. Block them, get them out, focus on you. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and I will see you on the next podcast. Bye for now, guys.